Hi guys, uh, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in Infosys interview. The candidate had uh, 1.6 years of experience working as a Java developer and when he solved the problem, uh, he was offered a CTC of 7.5 LPA. Okay, now let me discuss the problem statement. Uh, the problem statement was he was asked to write a Java program to count the total number of characters in a string. But while counting that character, he has to make sure that he is not going to count space and comma as a character. Okay, so space and comma should not be counted as a character. If you see the input, uh, this input string contains few characters as a space and comma. So he should ignore those and count only those characters which are alphabet from A to Z. So if you see uh, this string A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z contains total seven characters and that should be the output. Okay, to implement this, uh, let me write the code. Okay, so here you can see I have declared a class which is count number of characters in a string and inside that I have written a main method which is going to be my starting point for my program execution. Okay, now let me declare a variable string uh, str equal to uh, I'll take uh, the input string which is provided into the uh, problem statement. Okay, so now I have declared a string. This is going to be my input string. Now I have to calculate uh, count the number of characters for that I will declare a variable which will be used to count the number of characters Okay, I have declared a string as an input and a count a variable to count the number of characters Now what I will do I will try to iterate over the provided string and uh, count the characters Okay, so let me write a for loop which will be used to iterate over this string Okay, so for integer i equal to 0 I should be less than str dot length and i plus plus. Okay, this will be used to iterate over the string. Now, while iterating, I have to check if string contains a space or if it is containing a comma, then I should ignore that. Otherwise, I should increment my counter so that I will be able to count the number of characters. So if string dot str dot char at i is not equal to space and str dot char at is not equal to char at of i is not equal to comma if it is not equal to space or if it is not equal to comma then only i should increment my count so it should be incremented by one okay so i have written a for loop uh, and inside that for loop i am checking whether a string character is space or it is not a uh, comma then i should increment my count and that count will be used to count the number of characters so i am done with writing the for loops i will print now i will try to print the number of characters in that string so total number of characters in the give one string r and let me print the value of this count okay now let me run the program and see what is the output so if you see total number of characters in the given string are seven uh, which is the expected output okay guys uh, so that's it from this video uh, if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you bye bye